Welcome to the course. In this course, we will see how to implement a simple BHDL design on FPGA. In detail, we will see how to design BHDL code for 4-bit counter, a 7-segment hardware driver, and how to control the 4-bit counter using an external push button or switch. Then we will see how to implement the bounce code for the external button. In the next slide we will see what I mean when I say the bounce code. So we will implement a control for a 4-bit up counter that drives a 7-segment LID using an external button or a switch. Design will be implemented on a DA0 Altera board. We will use model sim to simulate the VHDL design and of course use Quartus 2 to lay out the VHDL design on the FPGA. Let's going to understand what will be the circuit that we are going to implement into the board. This is the representation of what we will going to implement. There is a button or switch connected to an edge detector that detect the uh, rising edge of the of the pulse that drives a 4-bit counter connected to a 7-segment driver that drives the 7-segment LED. The board is the D80 board. This is the push button and the manual switch is connected simply connecting this point to ground. The schematic of push button is if you open the schematic of the DA0 board is this one. The circuit is simply this one. So when you connect the when you push the button, you connect this point that is this point to ground and the capacitor will filter all the bouncing of the of the connection. The manual switch is this point the GPIO one D0 or this point of this connector and we emulate the switch connecting this point to ground. Ground is here. Of course you can see that when the switch is open the pin is floating. So we need to instantiate the pull-up resistor inside the pin in order to uh, to drive the input when the switch is open. The LED circuit is this one. So the pin is connected to a resistor that drives the LED. So if you want to turn on a segment, you have to drive the pin low, as you can see, because this is VCC. This point, if it's, this point is high, the, the LED is is off. When this point is connected to ground, the L LED is on. The rising edge detector is a simple circuit that detects a rising edge of an input signal. So if we have the input signal here, the input, input is latched by this flip-flop on the rising edge of clock. The second one delay of one clock cycle and then at the output of the inverter we have the inverted waveform. If you remember the through table of the hand gate you can see that the output is one when the two input are one. So 
the output pulse is one when the input of the end gate is one so in this case in this case and the is the output goes high for one clock cycle detecting the rising edge of the input this is the VHDL code of a rising edge detector input clock and reset then the input signal and the output pulse two flip-flop one two on reset all the flip-flop are zero then the first sampling second sampling and first second and the output assigned as not R1 input and R0 input you can see that output is is troubled with uh, with another flip-flop so in this in this sketch we need to add the real output is this one in this slide we will see how to drive a seven segment LED this is the representation of the LED so we are we will connect bit zero of our bus to segment A bit one to segment B and so on to bit six to segment G as we said before if we want to drive uh, a segment on we have to drive the input of the seven segment display low because we have this point connected to VCC so if this point is high or VCC the LED is off when the, we drive this point low the LED is on and this is an example of mapping a 4-bit input to 7-bit output in this case we when we want to drive 0 to the segment so in this case we have want to drive 0 we have to turn on all the ring of the LED but G so starting from A we have to turn on A B C D E F but G this the bit 7 or for instance if you want to if you want to turn on one on LED we have to turn on B and C so A is one is off B C on and all the segment are off all the other segment are off and so on in the previous slide we saw how to implement the seven segment driver the edge detector now we understand how to implement the 4-bit counter this is an example of a VHDL code of 4-bit up counter and in this case we have input clock reset counter enable and output counting we need to declare an internal signal hard counter of type unsigned we need to declare the numeric standard library in order to use unsigned and the process is a simple process where under reset we reset the counter to zero and on each rising edge of clock if the counter enable is one we count count plus one counter plus one and that's it as last step we need to assign the R counter to the output the assignment 
In the assignment, we need to typecast to standard logic vector the R counter to the output because our internal signal is unsigned and the output signal is standard logic vector. If we want to simulate and lay out our code, we have to use model sim and quartus. If you already have the DA0 board, simply install Quartus to Design Quartus to Design Suite provided with the included DVD. If you don't have the DA0 board, you can download the Quartus 2 Web Edition from the Altera website at altera.com. If you want to find a di direct download link, simply go to surf-vhdl.com and there is a blog post that will drive you to, to download the, the suite. Then use Quartus 2 9.0 if you want to lay out on the A0 board because the 9.0 Quartus version is fully compliant with this board. This board is provided with a Cyclone 3 PGA and the Cyclone 3 is available since the Quartus 9. Quartus 10 doesn't have the possibility to, to lay out on Cyclone 3. Let's see how to simulate our design using model sim. If you installed the Altera Quartus 2 design suite in the web edition, Altera will provide you a free model sim license restricted to the Altera components. You don't have to worry about this because you can simulate all your VHDL code and all the Altera macro. Of course, if you want to simulate a Xilinx micro, you, can, you, you can't use this free license. But in this case, we don't have any problem. So if you want to simulate with model sim, you have to set the simulation folder and check if the library work exists. If the library doesn't exist, you need to create the work library using the command v vlib work and then compile your files. Start simulation using vsim add the signal to the waveform window and run simulation. We will see all this step with an example.